Hello everyone, today's video is about field stripping the Steyr L9 and its little brothers. This is a two part disassembly. There is the basic field stripping and the slightly more advanced field stripping if you are in a safe place where you are sure to find any kind of springs. It is not that much more but it will help you clean your gun a lot better. Let's start. First we need to remove the slide and for that we need to make sure the gun is safe. No ammunition there. Pull the trigger. The slide will not come out without pulling the trigger first. Then you are going to push the lock, safety catch and the disassembly latch and the slide comes out. You will remove the spring spring rod and the barrel. That should be it for the slide and you can go in with the basic firm toothbrush with some uh, solvent to clean everything here. That is just basic. Then the basic lower frame, that's all you should need to do for the lower frame. Again, with the toothbrush, you can reach most of everything. But if you are in a safe place, I will suggest to remove the chassis of the gun because you need to get deeper in here and a little bit in there. Powder will come all the way down here. So let's do this. You need to remove the disassembly latch and you have a mark right there to show you where to put the latch and it comes out very easily. Then that lock system needs to be put on safe. So you are going to push it down and turn it. Now it's on safe. It is still not enough to pull the chassis so you have to give it another push down. And that's why you need a table, you need a safe area. Springs might be flying. So you push down and you pull the chassis. There you go. You're going to stop right there because the locking system is under spring and that system is going to come out of the frame and the spring is going to push everything up. So what I like to do is to take the gun onto the other side and remove the chassis. At that point, the key system in the spring will hit the table. If you have a rag to absorb the shot, it's even better. There we go. So now you can remove the chassis from the back. You pull forward to you, or there you go. And here, is the key system, a spring and a key. And here is the slide lock and its spring. Nothing fancy. Let's put all this aside. And the extra step I would like you to take is with a little punch or, oh, by the way, talking about punch, you have seen so far, you don't need any punch to remove any pin. You only need that little key here. That's all you need. The engineering is pretty cool on that gun. Now, what you probably will need to do is to remove that pin. Before that, I'm going to remove the trigger arm. Very simple, you push on the safety and on the trigger and that arm will come right out. There is only one spring here, no big deal. Push that pin, no forces required. There you go. And that's how far you will go for the extended fill stripping. But here now, with your brush, you can go underneath, you can go anywhere. Be careful here. I mean, nothing is going to jump at you because everything is really, really secure. You can push and pull. Nothing is going anywhere. So if you need to go there with some solvent and a brush, go at it. And that is a pretty good fill stripping. Let's put it back together. So we have the spring going into the trigger. So again, you want that spring to follow the form of the trigger. Then this piece of the spring will float right in that notch. Oh, there we go. It will find itself naturally. So it's a pretty easy step to do by removing the trigger assembly. See, very easy, and the spring finds its way right there. 
and then again you push the safety and the trigger and the trigger bar is back really easy so again no punch no special tools well one maybe to push that pin but you don't have to hammer it down and to put back the chassis into the frame you first need the slide catch into position it's matching spring you need to bring this end over there you go and once you are there you want to put a finger right here that's where everything is going to kick out if you don't support it so I put my finger on it put it back and this part again needs to go this way So I install the spring, I go back with my finger right there, pre-install the chassis into the frame, just enough to support the spring and go find my locking system. Then I remove the chassis slightly, keeping my finger on the spring there, put that lock system in its hole and push everything in. Remember this is unsafe. To totally lock everything in place you need to put it back on fire and the lock pull out. The disassembly latch following the mark. Let's rebuild the slide. Barrel first. Following by the spring. Let's put it back together and like a Beretta 92 back to position. So I fire the gun a few times and you are good to go. And that is it for a fill stripping or what I would call the advanced fill stripping, which I suggest every three, four, five times you clean the gun, you want to do the advanced fill stripping. Well, until next time, see you guys.